You are listening to the No Nonsense Show. 10% less bullshit than any other podcast, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We back in this motherfucker like you know who. For sure, for sure. Like, like, hey. like, like who? Like who? Goddamn like, like what's move. I nah, know. nigga, like the motherfucking Eagles. What's up? Yeah, you knew I wasn't, we wasn't going to start this bitch without talking about my motherfucking Eagles. Oh, now you claiming what? the motherfuckers now? He been claiming them. That's, that's all I didn't claim, man. What you talking about? He, this, he's been claiming them. This nigga, what you was about to get rid This nigga oh, doing a bird like he been oh, watching Purple Rain a goddamn nigga, Mars Day. We, I'm, <laughs> like, I, shit. I, I ain't going to say I shed a tear because I, I ain't, you know, I'm... Karate man, karate man, cry on the inside. No, nigga, you came in slack, super fucking sensitive, because somebody was saying one little goddamn thing about them fucking eagles. I do. Uh, listen, I, I was rooting for them, and I, you, okay, you, you but said say fuck my fa- <laughs> fuck the Falcons, fuck me. I'm like, nigga, I'm rooting. For I did, them. and he like, he like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you root for them. I'm like, wow. I'm listen. I feel bad, man, because I know I I, I realized I was hypersensitive about my shit, nigga. <laughs> I was I was overly sensitive. You don't understand. All my life. All oh, my had yeah, to fight. You had to fight. <laughs> gotcha. I'm just saying that these motherfuckers have never been able to accomplish what they did last night. And, you know, going against Tom Brady and the Patriots, you feel like you it, the odds is always against you. Right. I'm watching the motherfucking referees pick up Patriots off the ground. Like, I mean, like James Harrison, <laughs> nigga. This big ass nigga. Fucking referee is like lifting this nigga off the ground. Pat niggas on the ass. I mean, they don't. No, they weren't. They Stop. did, man. man listen, if you don't get the fuck out of here. With I got that. it on DVR. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and record it when I get home <laughs> and send it out in the, in, on the Slack and in on Twitter. They was fucking like patting the fucking players on the ass, like good play, nigga. Them, or, them, them niggas gonna be brought up on charges next. Like, I got I got something to say about fields. them. But first of all, I want to give a shout out to Dino Red. He's in the house tonight. Dino, make sure you go check out Dino Show, the Shiznit Show, on the uh, Red Rock Podcast Network. Look that up in your uh, podcast app. Thank you for tuning in, Dino. And what's up to everybody else? But look, though, the Eagles won. Yeah. This, you know, it was, obviously, they, they really played well. They played well. Yeah. They played However, great. they did not play their game. What you mean? They won because of a running back and a quarterback. What you talking about? Y'all are supposed to be a defense team. No, you're right. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the defense is what got y'all there. The defense is what's supposed to let y'all. Defense came in at the end, though. No, they that didn't. Motherfucker showed it no, 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 no. No, there was a been, record they, they, amount of yards scored. I mean, and points. And, and, and you know point. what I'm saying? This yeah. a, they, a preseason and regular season record. Tom Brayton. Against and, your, your team, your defense. This motherfucker had over 500 yards. Tom Brady. That's what I'm saying. Right. It, so, so I'm concerned. And they they, spo- they supp- yeah, y'all should have lost, but no, 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 like, no, no. They deserve the win. They yeah, did. I know. The I Patriots know. didn't punt the whole game. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, that's that's some shit. You know, what I mean, the motherfuckers didn't punt, and I'm I'm screaming the whole time that the defensive backs. I, I don't know why these. And I'm not trying to be racist, uh, but why these white fucking receivers are just wide open? I mean, it's not like they're just hella fast. You know what I mean? We knocked the only black dude out. That's not what makes a receiver get open, though. It's not only no, it's fast not receiver. because Steve Largent was a motherfucker. Yes. And he was he wasn't that fast. What it was. is is the time that Tom Brady has. You know you can't you can't check a motherfucker forever. But that nigga Logan, what was his name? Logan, somebody Hogan. Logan, Hogan, 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 Hogan was motherfucker. He was the one that was eating up. Eating so was up yards. him, Am- fucking Amandela, 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 Amandela and, and, and Gronk, and big yeah. ass Gronk. That motherfucker but, like he running slow motion. Ertz was too though. Yeah, that's my boy. You know what I'm like, saying? Ertz so got it, moves like both ways, both ways. Ertz got Ertz is a young dude so he he reminds me of that killer um Aaron Hernandez it wasn't a boring Super Bowl no it wasn't no it was I mean from start to finish it was it was action so it was one of the best Super Bowls if I take myself out of it and just was saying I'm watching as a fan it was one of the best Super Bowls I had seen right. you know what I mean just as far as entertainment wise it, it was and I'm glad because the, the commercials they sucked I mean, compared I didn't to even pay attention to commercials. That's shit. what I'm talking about. The commercials wasn't. Everybody shit. used to look forward to the commercials. The commercials wasn't that. shit. There was like two commercials that I thought was cool. They didn't even hype up the commercials this year like I, they normally do. They were playing commercials that had already been out. You know what I mean? They didn't never used to do that. They you didn't never see all the commercials was like new reveal, like brand new type shit. They had commercials like that damn Australia shit. That shit has already been out, man. You know what I mean? It. it it, I don't know, man. I just wasn't a big fan of the commercials. There was like two. I like the Doritos and the Mountain Dew one with uh, Morgan Freeman and the midget. 
You cannot call him a midget. Why not? Because, Little person. No, that's Tyrion Lannister. Yeah, but he's a midget. No, that's, he's a midget. His name is like Stephen Dinkless. I think it's his real name. Or Tyrion. That's too close to Dinkless, man. I would have changed my name, <laughs> especially being a midget. You couldn't. I couldn't be Dinkless. Midgets. Uh, the appearance of midgets probably they got a big dick though, because I'm sure it's probably normal. So with a little bitty dude, you'd be like the man. Hey, on Game I of Thrones, I would always have my pants off. On Game of Thrones, he's kind of like that. Like he like fucks all the bitches. He's he he's that dude, um, and even though you know he what he call him a halfling, he, I mean he 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 talks about himself. He makes fun of himself in in the Game of Thrones, but that was a good commercial. I like that one. I like the Tide commercial. It, which one? It was like first, all of them were tied. Well, the first one because he. I mean, I didn't get it at first, and then I realized that it was kind of a genius idea. That anytime you see clean clothes, you're looking at a tie commercial. So you know what I'm saying? Like that's that was that was a good thought. The one I liked of Tide when they had the Old Spice dude. When he was on the horse with the motherfucking Old Spice dude, uh, I don't remember. Yeah, and he was like, "Get off my horse." <laughs> I, don't remember that one. <laughs> I don't even remember none of the fucking commercials. But to me, I thought the best one was the Alexa one, when she lost her voice and they did all the fucking oh, yeah, the yeah, little yeah. sub voices with all the different people. Cardi Shout B, out to she, Cardi B, right. she's she, she doing all the right things, man. She's fucking Cardi B is doing yeah. all the right things. Yeah, that was that was my favorite um, out of all of them. But yeah, man, my Eagles did that shit. And if I was, you know, in fucking Philly. I'd have been wilding out too. I was watching. I mean, I stayed up probably until later than I should. Or probably until like one o'clock. You watched watch it. Do it. all the awards, all the all the post game hey, interviews. I ain't trying to be funny. What didn't that um, homeboy little baby do? Was something wrong, wrong with that little baby? <laughs> that little baby looked like she had one of them plugs on her head from the Matrix. Which one? Um, what you call it? Um, the quarterback. His little baby. She had that little scarf on her head and shit. But it looked like the back of her head. So one of them babies was fucked up. Uh, one of the players' baby it had some on the back. I'm talking about like a, it, it like a bump or something like that. I'm just, I, I ain't supposed to really be talking about people. But you're not, you fucking, can't but have I'm just saying. Kids, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. They, I mean, thank God none of my kids are fucked up. But you got time though, man. People get fucked up later in life, nigga. Hey, that's why, nigga. I ain't, I ain't taking my chance, cause nigga. Hey, the way my luck. I fuck around have a kid Goddamn Down Syndrome They be fucked up They have a titty head Down Syndrome You got a different kind of look too though Like Honestly You got a different look uh, You ain't got I mean You ain't Down Syndrome I'm a cute ass nigga And and, and if if y'all had noticed that Everybody that's watching this shit Motherfucker live Hey It look a little Motherfucking different On the show today It's a light skin You know what I'm saying Three light skin Three light skin We used to have Three light skin And a mule You you know what I'm saying But he He ain't here tonight That nigga is Over somewhere Watching motherfuckers Be turned into billy goats I think he's on his way back If if not back already Yeah that motherfucker He coming back In the animal crate No but look, look right, look right at the. Kid. <laughs> they didn't turn French French into a motherfucking goat. And <laughs> he went over there as a human, come back over in the animal crate on the back of the plane. Tell me, here go his ticket. Wow. See, if French, we missing you, nigga. Look, look. <laughs> 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 no, but for real, you know, your eyes are a little close together, though. Hey, this all good, though. It's pretty. Better to see them women with. Hey, if y'all looking at me, I'm a pretty <laughs> motherfucker, nigga, though. I'm a pretty <laughs> motherfucker. I don't need them too far apart, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't see shit. That nigga with Little Red Riding Hood on your ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Better to see them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, B? Shit. <laughs> Shouts out also, man, to uh, Nicholas Spencer, who is in the live. We want to make sure that if you're in the L.A. area, you are going out to CrossFit Resolute. And uh, even, even if you're not in L.A., man, go to their Instagram, CrossFit Resolute Whittier, and uh, check them out, man. Um, what, he went there? Who did? Uh, whoever you just shouted out. Nicholas? He owns it. He's an owner. Oh, I thought... Uh, this goddamn kid. Yeah, I thought same that person. Was- Oh yeah. See, I don't know him by his Christian name. I thought that. I thought that. I thought that nigga name was. I thought he was related to Tupac. I thought his last name was Shakur. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's the Black Panther dude or whatever, right? Oh, I didn't listen. I didn't know. Yeah, uh, all I just, those fake names. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just thought you know he uh, he was on that shit. You know, uh, shout out to King Kunta because you know I, I posted in the um, in the Slack room about that one book that I I was over at somebody's house and they had a book and basically it was like the Unpublished books, Bible. Uh, unpublished, of the Bible. right? And um, I had never seen that shit before, mm-hmm. so I was checking it out, and I was like, "Well, who knows something about this?" King Kuta, like, "Oh, I do. Of course he does." Uh, and and it makes sense why he's denounced Catholicism. Yeah, you have to you have to have religion to lose it. Right? And he's lost it. Oh you yeah. I yeah. mean, I think it's I think that's a good thing because the more I the more I learn, the more I realize that religion is is bullshit. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're not catching me up on nothing. No, I I know, I know, and it, and I, I I know it's been a slow road, bro. And I and I and I appreciate you know you lighten the path. You right. know what I mean? And and 
But yeah, it, for everybody. Well, no, out no, there, no. Come on. See, because you're making it sound like I'm leading you to a, a path of whatever. You you want this on your own. You, I was, yeah. I was, but you know, I mean, honestly, because I remember, and I was talking about it with them when we first was talking about it, and you started on that shit. I remember getting a little heated. I mean, like honestly, my face was like, "Nigga, you can't tell me," <laughs> you know. But it, me, it wasn't about religion. It was about God. And 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 I still believe in God. I don't I don't believe that you know. I'm just talking about I'm anti religion. Yeah. And so I'm anti word. What's that mean, man? You said like God. Microsoft? No, like Gert God. Like what? Who is that? Yahweh. No, nah, who? Yeah, who? You see what I'm saying? That's I'm anti that. Okay. You don't need a word. It's in you. It's everywhere. If, if whatever it is, it's there. Like it's, you don't need to talk to it. It's not going to talk back to you. It ain't going to give you your, your Christmas wish. Like, there's nothing. You can get on your knees if you want to. It won't make a difference. It, you know, you can do that if you, it makes you feel better. But, you know, there's the word. Just saying the word. How do you, how do you, how do you communicate with that connection? How you, do don't, you, you don't have to. You never stop communicating. Okay. It's, it's connection that's always there. Right. I get it. You can either tap into it. You can not. You can just be yourself. Even if you, even if you don't tap into it, you're still tapped into it. And you just don't know it. But you keep calling it a word, that's when you start making it whack. You're making it less than it is when you call it a name, when you have a word for it. Because, what? That's, that's, where, that's where I've always been the entire time. He always calls me an atheist or whatever. I've always been there the entire time. I'm not saying that whatever the word is doesn't exist. I'm just saying that he, you don't have a personal relationship with it. I don't know about that. Then that's where we disagree. Jamat, did the that. church not give you money on a bill or something like that, and that's why you turned it away from them? Nah, it, I mean, it, it just, it's that, again, I haven't really... Found a good church down. home here? Nah, just the organized church thing has always been somewhat whack to me. And I think that religions are even more whack, right? I mean, the fact that, again, like I said, the way Christianity was spread, you know, was counter to what Christianity says it stands for. Right then, I got to talking to somebody about Catholicism, and I was like, "Damn, they might be the devil." <laughs> no real talk. Now, have you ever been to a Catholic church? I have. It's very ritualized. The I've rituals been, I've are been wild. To, I've been to, um, <clears throat> I've been to two. I've been to one in the south, and I've been to one up north. The Catholic church up north is more like a a Baptist church to me. It was it had that Baptist feel. Like they weren't singing like. Oh, the motherfuckers was rocking in the Catholic Church. I'm like, damn, this is a little different. You know, I'm like in the I've south. Never heard that. In the south, like, uh, well, I've been to both and I experienced it. So, I mean, they have some of the same rituals, but like I say, you know, the church up north, you know, the Catholic Church just reminds you more of a of a of a you know Baptist type feel. I felt like a white person at a black person party when I went to a Catholic church. You know how everybody got the lecture shuffle or the, the Cupid shuffle, you know what I mean, and all this shit, and everybody knows to do the dance, and that one white person that's like, and bumping into everybody, that's how I felt. Because everybody knew the chants, everybody knew the sayings, when to get up, when to get down, when to do all of that shit, and I'm looking around like, what the fuck are we doing? And I was like, y'all do this all the time? And why is it, first off, why do I got to talk to this dude that he, and, and confess to this dude and then he's going to go ahead and make it right for me with God. I don't know nothing about that. And then not only that, <laughs> y'all got a high propensity of touching little boy booties. And I think that's because. Or, or if, you, if you tell that guy, uh, can you tell him anything? You tell him whatever you want to no, know, whatever's no, on no. your heart. But I'm saying he has to call the police in certain instances. Right? Does he? I think so. I'm going to fuck with him. I'm going to go to a Catholic church and just be like, man. I got to get this off my chest. Somebody in the live room, tell us whether or not at a Catholic church they have um, a responsibility to call the police if you tell them something. Tell me you kill somebody or you fucking, yeah. you, you, nah. you the black Harvey Weinstein. You right. know what I'm saying? You touching, you touching bitches like you can't believe. Yeah, you know he saying? did Uma. I didn't know that. She just came out. Uma, <laughs> Uma Thurman. Nice. Did she come out? Yeah. She, I think she had to. They were pressuring her because yeah. they're like, she knew about it. She's, oh, no, she said that but he. She, on, she was on, a superstar. She's like, fuck that. I'm taking this. On, on Kill Bill, she said that that shit went down. And he was like, um, the movie is supposed to be about women empowerment. And Had she not done Kill Bill? Who the fuck is Uma Thurman? Yeah, that's true. But no, you know what? She was already, you know, she, Pulp Fiction, when she, you know, that was, I mean, again, she wasn't, that didn't make her. But she was, you know, she was in Pulp Fiction, and you know, was Kill Bill Harvey Weinstein? Yeah, all every Miramax damn near <laughs> everything Miramax damn near was Harvey Weinstein. So, Einstein. so Pulp Fiction was or wasn't? Yes, yeah. So all was, of, all the Tarantino shit was. You're missing my point. 
if if he she hadn't done Miramax. Oh, you're right. Because you're saying Kill you're Bill, right. but I don't care if it's Kill Bill or, right. or whatever. She's no one. Nobody knows who she is. You're right. And I'm not saying it's okay that she should, but she was quiet for a while. I think they forced her to come out. They're like, come on, Ed, you had to know about it. Wasn't that something about Mary or is that someone else? That's uh, Cameron Diaz. Okay. That's something. Is that else. who that right. is? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know actresses and actors and shit. I was just I had to look that up and see. I'm like, eh. so speaking of the commercials, I I was out of the slack room today because I was working fucking hard. Oh, I'm but, sorry. Hold on one second. In right. the in the in the uh, live room, they're saying that no, they don't necessarily have to tell on you. If, I'm, I'm gonna put it to the test, y'all. I'm gonna go to a Catholic you church. Gonna lie? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna make up some <laughs> many shit. <laughs> I'm going to be like, it's been like, nigga, 20 years. What's so I got a lot of shit to talk about, my nigga. Wow. And this is what I need to tell you. Are we going to tell them where all the bodies are? Yep. Okay. I'm going to tell them about some bodies. I'm going to tell them about some live ones that, you know hey, what I mean? This shit need to be in, this shit need to be in, in the live shit. That you, you just nah, record it. Well, yeah, I just record it and then yeah. just, you know, see what happened. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because I, I think, you know what? And and if he, what if he do? What if I end up in jail, my nigga? Right. You, know you I mean? got to prove to get out. What if No, some, what, I don't have to prove. They got to prove, right? They got a, or is that how it works? There was anymore. a movie, I think, with Cuba Gooding Jr. in it, Murder of Crows. You ever seen that? No. Where there was something like, some situation like that, where he wrote a book, and the book happened to be, no, he got a book from a guy, he was like a failing author or whatever. Okay. And the guy said, you know what, I'm about to die, man. You know, here, just take my book, and you can just put it out in your name or whatever. Right. I, this, this book needs to see the light of day. But it was the account of real murders. Oh. And then he had to prove that he didn't really do it. Because he got the book from somebody, but the dude disappeared himself so that there was like no record of him ever talking to him, meeting him, or anything. It, right. was, it was a wild movie, Murder of Crows. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to rethink that because I, I ain't got time. I ain't <laughs> just, got, or bail money. Just, just don't, don't go that far, that, that lavish. Just tell him that you want to confess that, you know, whatever. Tell me you just. No, you, just, you got to go all the way right. with it. You got to do like tell, a, a child tell, rape or a yeah, murder I mean, or murder, something. Murder, you know what I mean? You know, fucking something. You know what I mean? It's got to be savage enough you for him to be like, you know what? I can't sleep on this one. I gotta, I gotta get you off the street. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, French Reggie's in the live room. I wonder, I wonder how many, I wonder how many, because don't they tell you to do like some sort of penance, like Hail Marys, like yeah. you know, go so ahead, ten Hail Marys and suck on his dick. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm um, shout out to King Kuta. That's where I started with this. Is that you know this motherfucker knows all about religion, and I, I, again that makes sense why he's not fucking with it no more. So yeah. hey, shout out to you, King Kuta. Don't go back, nigga. First, Alec had wanted you to get to the fucking topic though. She said she she was mad. We we're talking about the Super Bowl. So you know what? Get to first, Alec. Get to the topic, nigga. That's what she okay. Said. I'm going to be nice for Sally Cat <laughs> because I fuck with Walmart and I don't know whenever I'm going to step in your, your store and I don't want you mad at me. But Man, leave that girl alone. No, no, no. Don't no, fuck no. with her about her no, job. No, no, I'm not. I'm just is saying. I don't know. Door? Is she the greeter? I, I don't know, but that's what I'm saying. I fuck with oh, she a Walmart. Oh, she's a CSR, customer service rep. Listen, Walmart, though, they be some nasty motherfuckers in there. So you I was call in the first alley nasty. I, no, <laughs> I'm not talking about the customers. Oh, okay. I was in the motherfucking Walmart. Everybody in there coughing. Don't nobody know how to cover their fucking mouth. Mm. I mean, at all. I mean, germs just. And you think flying. that's a Walmart thing? Nah, it was definitely a Walmart thing. These was Walmart workers, nigga. These was, I mean, not workers, but these was, you know, th that website, people of Walmart. It was these niggas. Oh, okay. It was all of them. And I was sitting in there like this. So you're not going to get to your topic? Yeah. <laughs> I I'm about to get to it, man. I'm about to get to it. First, Alec had this for you. All right. So <laughs> let, me, uh, let me ask you, my nigga. Um, we all got kids, and I'm glad that French Reggie ain't here right now because he don't got kids, and he really wouldn't have any con contribution to this topic anyway. Um, but so he, and we all not, got is he not because he's not fucking? No, because he don't have any kids. Oh, so okay. my question is because we all have daughters. Um, how you know when your daughters get to dating, right? I think we you know all say you know there's going to be an age where you allow them to start talking to boys because otherwise they're going to do it behind your back, right? Mm -hmm. But when you and so my thing is I, I want them to come around, bring the dudes around, this, that, and the other, right? How much PDA do you allow in front of you, right? I mean, how, I mean, is it okay for them to hold hands? You know what I mean? Is it okay for them to sit next to each other, um, hug? Um, she said she don't work at Walmart. She's oh. About, she's about to fix it now. Oh, nigga, I'm sorry. <laughs> Target? What was it? <laughs> she's in the military, right? Oh, uh, Ollie's? She's in the military. He said Ollie's. Oh. <laughs> <He said Aldi's. laughs> hey. <laughs> First, Alley Cat, hey, I, I'm apologize on behalf of oh, um, J. Mac. You know what I'm saying? Do that shit smooth. Hey, that's my um, that's my Luther. You know Smoothie what I'm saying? Campaign. We, we not we not gonna shit on where you work at. You know nah, what I'm saying? Listen, I'm not shitting you know, on that. She got a good job. I think she does security or something like that. I shop at for Walmart. No, I don't. She's know in the what, military, she's man. In the military, she's like military like, police or something. Yeah, I think. She like security oh. or some shit like that. 
Don't they yeah. do psychological testing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You, I'm not saying that. Okay. Listen, I'm just, I'm just saying that, you know, I'm not talking about Walmart. I fuck with Walmart. Right. I do most of my shopping at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? So so we're good. You know what I mean? I, I, I love Walmart. I just don't like the people that shop there. Mm-hmm. Even though I shop there. <laughs> I just feel like I'm a better class of she Walmart. She don't work there, so it doesn't matter. Okay. This is irrelevant. All right. Wherever you work at, first, Alec, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? If Shout out. Tell me where you work, and I'll give you props. You know what I mean? And I'll, I'll take it back. She don't work at Walmart, y'all. So if you're in a slack room, don't judge her as a Walmart worker. She ain't working there. She, okay. she got a new job. But my question was... <laughs> <That's fucked up. laughs> she got a new job. That's fucked up. Hey, I apologize on bad fam for Alan. Smoothie campaign. Get them smooth. I apologize. You joined the team, but we got you. I mean, you've been on the team anyway, so... So ahead, my Jay. question is, how, how, how much PDA are you, do you allow, right? And the reason I asked is because... So my daughter's, you know, got this guy friend um, that she's talking to, right? You know... So and, the lesbian thing didn't work? No, nah, I'm still, it's fucked up, man. That shit is not working, man. Okay. That didn't work, man. And and maybe it's not over. She only, you know, she's only 15, so maybe there's still hope. You know what I mean? Right. It, maybe this motherfucker will do something stupid. Is and she I can, junior high, high school? She in high school. Okay. And I could bring her over to the light. But at this point, eh, it is what it is. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, dude came through the house a couple times, right? Um, And, you know... They on the couch and he want to do the the arm around, you know, while we watching a movie and shit like that, you know. And I'm sitting there like, wait a minute, all of y'all are watching a movie? Yeah. And she brought her dude. Yeah, I I I, I wouldn't pick the nigga up. <laughs> I wouldn't pick him up. Go, go ahead. No, nah, no, nah, he he didn't. He didn't. He, listen, my thing was I need to meet this nigga. Is right? he white or black? He black. Okay. He black. <laughs> and so, um, you know, and that wasn't, you know. That big a deal to me, right? And even though I felt a little uncomfortable, right? Like I'm like, should I make a big deal out of it? I yes. don't want to. I don't want to freak out, right? I don't want to make it a big deal. You should before have. it's a big deal, right? But you then, should have. but check this out. I'm not done yet, right? So then, I'm about to take this thing home, and she walks him down, you know, stairs, and we in the garage. I'm about to get in the car, and I I hear. <laughs> <laughs> What just fucking happened, right? <laughs> and I, um, I was like, Jamie, don't lose your shit. Don't, don't turn it. Okay, <laughs> don't turn it. Your daughter, she initiated this shit. I, I don't know, my nigga. That's the thing. I was getting into the car. I was just expecting a hug. That's they what they say. Did. These little girls hotter than the boys. That's nowadays. that's what was. That's what happened the first time. It was just a hug. He's talking about your daughter. I know. No, that's why I, 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 no, I, I got I, a daughter too. So it's coming back to me I, too. I, 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 listen, we already listen, know. She, listen, she, listen. She, she tricked you on the iPad. Listen, right? Listen, I, so I the first time he was over, the the exit gesture was a hug, but that was the first time. So now I'm like, this nigga getting comfortable. I, that's exactly what I said. I said this shit is getting out of hand. What in the fuck? So I, I said, listen, you know what? I'm not gonna lose my shit on this nigga. Cause they asked this him for his name. I guess they gonna go get him. You know his name? No, 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 no. You ain't gonna do that? No, 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 no. I can't get a nigga name out. <laughs> I can't do this nigga. He's a minor, and I don't want to do that to this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this is, um, it, and this is the thing. I know the dude had a different upbringing, right? Where meaning that no father figure, right? He don't got a father figure in the, in the in the picture. No uncles, none of that shit, right? So I'm like, maybe this motherfucker don't know. Right, so I'm like, I'm just gonna on the way home school the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let him know because this ain't nothing that I wouldn't tell my own son. Right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm, you know, I, I let him know. Listen, no, hold on, hold on. First off, you know, because normally when you drive, you blazing. Nah, nigga, I don't <laughs> so smoke. Bla- I listen. You stop smoking since, since New Year's, bro. Uh, nigga, I thought you just blazed, nigga, not too long ago. Nah. I thought it was- when. Nigga, every t- before we leave, nigga, I be thinking, nigga, you be you didn't blaze one. Uh, I had to, I got to go back and look at the records, nigga. Yeah. I think you bullshit. I told you, you even said I'm, I'm trying to get a job, nigga. I can't, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, I can't. okay, that's they, right. They do mouth swabs and shit out here. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If it was just fucking urine, I'd be all right because I keep right. a fucking fake urine in, in on, but, on but deck. But you, you probably fight it. Motherfuckers can fight it between that and gingivitis. I mean, you cannot fight it, nigga. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> weed and gingivitis, nigga, it's kind of close. It's, <laughs> 
Can't, you, might. you can't fight it. What does that mean? We didn't just divide us our clothes. I'm just, I'm just saying, they might, you know, when as they, far as the testing. The testing. They, motherfuckers buy, they got the same kind of motherfucking looks. <laughs> you know, but. That doesn't make any so, sense. So you having to talk with the little nigga yeah, in the and, car going home. Yeah, and, and you know, and I'm like, you know, you might want to, you know, check that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't saying that to you. Ain't I showed, no, I sure did because I he at first I didn't say nothing. It was quiet, and this hadn't how I've been. I've been you know very social with him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We had conversations and we talk and you know right. whatever. It was dead ass quiet, and then he was like um, trying to make small talk. And I said, you know what, man? I, I don't even know if I'm gonna really be able to do that right now. Until I get this off my chest. So the only two things he did was put his arm around her while they were watching a movie. Right. And then kissed her. Right. And it was a so kiss. Was his, it wasn't no, it wasn't no. Was his was, arm all the way around like touching tit maybe or nah. just a shoulder? Nah. Did they, nah. they no, have no. like a blanket on top of him? Nah. It was, his, sure? his arm didn't even have, his arm wasn't even around her. His arm was just on the back of the couch. Okay. Make it, uh, the look of almost like, yeah, I know what you're So about. basically he didn't do anything yet. What do you mean? He, okay. didn't, he wasn't touching her. They were they were close enough. They were touching. They like they, they were touching on sides. Yeah. So she was rubbing her boobs on him. I don't know about that. He was rubbing his boobs on her. A little bit. And then it was a peck kiss. Yes. Mm, she want a little little tongue like nah. It was. First of all, I'm not really sure. I don't know why he would have his arm around the couch. Her whether that's just a little weird to me for around somebody's parents. That's what I'm saying. I, uh, listen, the kiss part is whack though. That's not that's not a big deal. How old are they? Fifteen. Yeah. Come on. You didn't kiss when you were fifteen. Not in front of people's parents. What else did you do when you were 15, though? I, I smashed. Right. I mean, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't smash. The, the only reason why you said it, because you don't want to have to think about it. No, no. I, I, no, I remember that that's a lie. Oh, that's I right. Because I, it was 17 when I smashed. Okay. But I was, tr- I was trying. Right. And listen, this is the thing. I remember being 17. I should, I might have been 18. I don't even know. I was probably 17. I had a girl come over to the house. She sat on my lap in front of my mom. My mom damn near lost her shit. Right. She was like, uh, oh, well, I did not, uh, hey. Did she call her a bitch? No, nah, she's, Bethany, no, get your ass up. Yeah, because white girls are, are more like that. They <laughs> yeah, this white girl, this girl, white girl, she, and she, I didn't tell her to come sit on my lap. <laughs> she was probably wearing Daisy Dukes too. And she you? wasn't, she wasn't full white, she was white and Asian. So same thing. That's, that's pretty, pretty, that's that's pretty, pretty damn white to me. <laughs> that's pretty pale. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is still pale. It's fun. Um, it's still. It was all the way pink. Um, so um, yeah. My thing was, how far? Well, did you, you? You didn't tell us about the ride, though. So I just told him. I was like, "Listen." And what was his response? We heard you. What you said? He's like, "Oh, I, he apologized." Okay. And he's like, "I didn't know." He's like, "I, you know, I, I'm not wanting to be disrespectful." Right. And I'm like, "You just have to be careful, man, because you know I feel yeah, I'm like crazy <laughs> I, I, a little bit, and I feel like you guys are just it, it's they're moving it, too fast. It's getting a little bit too comfortable. Like, nigga, you. This is like. Day three. Of, they know of this thing gonna be spending the night of of me. You meet me. You so know, it's what the saying? third time you ever saw him ever. Yeah. Okay. And and you and you already at this comfortability level. And I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a cool dude, and I make people feel comfortable when I fucking am cool. And maybe eh. I made you feel. You make people feel comfortable. I do. Okay. I do when I'm cool. Okay. <laughs> that's that's the, that when was I'm the, cool. Yeah, that was the disclaimer. Okay. When I'm cool, I, I, I make motherfuckers feel real comfortable. And I was like, obviously, because. You felt, and maybe you didn't. I don't know. How, I don't know who initiated. I don't know whatever. Right. So I came home, and I grabbed a love, and I'm like, she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I don't. Again, to my daughter, I don't know how to start this conversation because again, the old me, I'm about to go nuclear. So it's fifteen too old for whoopings. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, they, I, nobody in my house gets whoopers anymore. How old are you sound like? He's, he'll be thirteen next month. Shit, they get ass whooped. That's ass beatings nah. at that time. Okay. I mean, it, so, but I, she's, I'm with you. I don't believe you should beat your kids at all. Ever. She was like, you know, my daughter was like, I don't get it. You know, what I mean, you know, it wasn't. It was just, it wasn't like anything right. big, right? right? And I was like, I know, it was. I, I you know, because if it had been more than that. There would have been no control. There, I don't know if I'd have been able to control if I'd have heard some mm, mm, that that would <laughs> that would have made me lose my shit over all of y'all. Can and I give you, you would, some perspective though? You would have been embarrassed. I would have, I would have fucking maybe whooped your ass. See, I might have reverted back to slavery days, right. and that's what I know. You know, what I mean, I, I you act out of line. Uh-huh. I put that whoop to your back. 
Can I give you some perspective? What up? The reason why A Love probably was like so cool with it was because most girls who are 15 are dating like 20 year olds. Yeah. They're not even dating dudes in high school anymore. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you get freshman year, you're like, oh, the, the senior guy. But when you get a sophomore year or junior year, you're like, man, I ain't fucking these little boys. Yeah. I need me some grown man. Yeah. And and again, I understood Punch that, he, that, teeth, that he had been raised, you know, by a bunch of women. Mm-hmm. You know, nah, not even mom. So a bunch of women and, um, you know, didn't have a father figure in his life and maybe hadn't been taught what I would teach my son. Right. It's like like if you're in front of her parents, be respectful. For you, you can fuck her, but not in front of her parents. Exactly. Oh. And 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 I almost said that to my daughter. I said, "Listen, I don't expect that you guys are good, nigga. Why do you have latex gloves, my nigga? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> hey? That was that little nigga. Hey, that was that little nigga. He said he gonna say, Mister Sm- Mister Matt. I understand what you're saying, sir. <laughs> no, I don't get it. I understand what you're saying, sir, but I'm going in. I'm going in with protection. I'm being a little smart. I, my, my, I, really, my nigga. Why the fuck do you have those? I'm going in, huh? I, I just want to know why you got fucking latex, powder free latex gloves. A nigga, listen, a nigga with a glove on it says, "I'm going in." A nigga said, he "That's said, a booty hole." He said, he said, <laughs> nigga, that is. Send me some act. Everything is clean. Hey, I'm just saying. Why? Why do you? Why you got those in your pocket, my nigga? Huh? That's. It's just um, you gotta be ready at all time for what? <laughs> hey, what are you ready for, Jay Smooth? For whatever. Okay, you, you know what I'm saying. I mean, I'm listen, like, for whatever is a lot. You know what I mean? But no, no. Back to the back to the topic though. I just you know I was just trying to derail a little bit. I but, just I just got some gloves in my pocket. That I'm gonna yeah, take out yeah, and put on. Yeah. So so look because so, he wanted us to know that he had these gloves. Yeah, but them, them OJ but gloves, you, them, OJ, you, them, no, them, them latex, not. them latex. For what though? The little boy. And you the, got two different types. For the little yeah, boys, he said. They're for the little boys. It is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's for that's for that little boy Why that was in your, in your thing. <laughs> this, this, and this, this is a different cat too, right there, Jay Bat. Hey, it's from the restaurant. I I had them in my in my uh in my pocket from the restaurant. So you wear the same clothes you wear at the restaurant? No, it's in my jacket. It was in my jacket. Hey, but look, you wear your jacket while you work at a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I go in there from you know because it's been cold. If I got to Run out to the grill. <laughs> hey, look, but no, J Mac, I would have slapped the little motherfucker boy arm off the fucking couch. Like, nigga, put your arm in your lap. Like, so, so you think, so wait a minute. I, I would have did this to shit. To me, you guys are saying that the arm is worse than the kiss. No, but what I'm saying, that was the first thing. So by y'all sitting there, right, as parents, y'all sitting there and you letting this shit fly, that nigga's like, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga comfortable, he up there like that. I'm like, nah. Too comfortable. Hey, like, put your motherfucking arm down, nigga. What are you doing? And what the fuck is you skinning and grinning for and letting this nigga? You should have told him, God damn it. Hey, no, my dad ain't going to go for that shit. But see, she said, my dad is so fucking cool. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to say shit. Yeah, why didn't your daughter... To freak out Or why didn't she Like shut it down Um Cause What were y'all watching The fuck were we watching Fire stick Or was it a Orange movie? is the new red uh, No, nah, it was uh, It was on the fire stick I think you know So honestly, you couldn't pause I, I Was it right Was it right <laughs> I, can't, I can't even concentrate You couldn't pause Just in case it wouldn't It wouldn't start back up Yeah I just <laughs> This thing was so into it You and A-Love So into it You forget No he no, said he couldn't shit. concentrate Yeah I, I mean Cause again How long was this nigga Over there uh, A few hours And this nigga This nigga ate dinner with y'all Nah, nigga, it is it is just movie it? time. Movie yeah. time with the family. Yeah, fuck that shit. Now, like, nigga, put your arm between your legs, nigga. Hey, matter of fact, so how much? A little bit. The question is, that's how much? too much. How, well, how much? What 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 is allowable? Nigga, none. No, Not in front of me. Yeah. Wait a minute. So none. wait a minute. You guys are saying that you said the kiss was fucking okay. I mean, at the end of the night, I don't. I expect you to give her a hug or a kiss or something, but it should be it should be tasteful. Mm, fuck that Not in front of me I don't want to fuck the, the, It should be tasted In front of me No 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 See here's the thing right You What you have got to do Is you And, and your kids You have to promote Healthy relationships man I was trying to be that no, way the kid, You give a kiss To somebody that's a healthy relationship That's respectful At the end of the night That's his woman That's his he, That's her dude She got You know what I'm saying He has to do some Fuck woman They too young That motherfucker They, they replace well, I said, motherfuckers I said woman In, in I know I know But they be I mean they have A bunch of A bunch of fucking girlfriends At motherfucking high school Junior high. I mean, look at you. Be honest. I mean, how many girlfriends did you have in high school? What are you talking how about? How many motherfucking chicks like you? I'm, let's be real, right? Okay. Nigga, you weren't married then. J Mac, in high school, right? Did you have one girlfriend or did you have multiple girlfriends? Or did you have multiple chicks that you like? Let's be I, real. I had multiple. I, multiple. I was, so, I was, so a, I was a cheater until. Fuck you. You met A Love. Yeah. You got it. So fuck so <laughs> yeah. so so pretty much fuck that shit. Like, nigga, you ain't about to kiss because I don't know, nigga. He could have been right before he motherfucker came over. 
You picked them up Mr. Mac picked them up That nigga could have Ate a bitch out Cause they fucking In high school now They fucking in junior high Yeah You know what I'm saying So no nigga We not I don't want so you because it, he ate Somebody out That's why he can't Kiss your No daughter. no fuck that You can't kiss a period At least damn it Not in front of me if you could, yeah, I get it. Promote healthy relationship, but goddamn it, you got a long time to promote healthy relationship. How do you think you start that? How do you think you? How do you think you teach healthy relationships? You gotta first of all, you gotta be in a healthy relationship. So you and a love have to show love around the house, and, and you have to and kiss that, her. What you say he and, does, and, and that's just and that's what my daughter referenced. You know what I mean? She's right. like, she's like you and you and mom kiss. I said, hold so up, we married. And I pay the bills, motherfucker. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so you can't kiss till you pay a bill? No, no. until you get your own shit. <laughs> this is my shit. That help promote so, healthy so, relationships. So, so therefore, yes, I can. See, and here- then I told her, this is what I told her. You know me and mom fuck though, right? <laughs> so what are you, what are you, what, so what are we, what are you trying to tell me? You and mom do it. Uh, no, nigga. See, don't, so listen, you need to right now stop trying to compare yourself in your relationship to me and moms. Because me and moms do some old nasty shit. We get it in. And she be like, I want And see, that's, be so, see, that's the fucked up conversation. Because she be like, well, I like it nasty too. And then you wouldn't be able to handle that. Fuck that shit. I'll I be ready to choke a bitch out then. You know what I'm saying? Well, I like it nasty too, daddy. I mean, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> then well, you wouldn't be able to handle that shit. Fuck that. I'm not giving them ammunition. No, listen. No, fuck listen. that. I be like this. Mm-mm. I'm a grown ass man. I, I get it. So I, so I could do nasty shit. <laughs> no, I get it. Even though I've been doing that shit. Well, you, according to Georgia law, your daughter's only less than a year away from... Wait, that a year ain't here. But I'm just saying, I'm not saying that she should be. But they're in the live room, they're saying, why didn't you check your fast-ass daughter? I did. I just, I, quote, I, I just quoted it like, I didn't, it's not me calling your daughter fast. Well, no, he, hold up. French <laughs> Reggie said that shit. French. It wasn't French, French Reggie. French. It wasn't French Reggie. French talking shit. He ain't on the show. He talks shit. Hey, Maurice. Um, hey, Maurice. Eminem That's Kim right there Hey Hey nigga <laughs> Who the fuck You talking about nigga You talking about uh, Your daughter Hey nigga You know what I'm saying She's, a tra- she's on a track team Listen Nah nigga Does Maurice he, have, he does Maurice track have team. kids I don't know what Maurice got <laughs> Sound like a nigga With fucking erectile dysfunction Nigga Nigga don't sound oh, whoa, like Whoa 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 Time out Time out Don't <laughs> Hey Don't talk about niggas like that <laughs> Nigga that, Hey you hitting home now Nigga He hitting home Nigga Hey TX, TX 180 Nigga what, what I be saying <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that Tyrannosaurus Rex 4000, nigga. Hey, don't talk about niggas that got dick problems, nigga. Because this thing over 40, you might have a shot, nigga. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come your way. The storm going to come, nigga. You just got to be able to handle that shit, you know, when it get there. Nah. Some niggas be to handle it before before you, but yeah. But, but, but wait till I get to the rest of the story, Maurice, before you get to talking that shit. Because, <laughs> I, you know, I ain't trying to call you all out your name and shit, but, you nigga, watch your mouth. Watch, yeah. your, watch your mouth, nigga. But, hey, no, so I did when I came home. We had a conversation, nigga. And you, you talking to us, man? You, why are you still mad at somebody on in the live room? Well, Come you on. told me where the camera was, nigga. So you know, I, I think to... Maurice has probably been in every live we've had. That's so, great. So you know, I saying? appreciate that, nigga. <laughs> but 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 what he, what he said? I mean, and and not saying that your daughter's fast, not at all. Track team. You know that's what I said. He's yeah, talking about track team. Yeah, but the now, see, that's what I'm saying. The, the thing about it is, is we can be which, cool till you say the wrong shit. Which which he which he's talking about, not necessarily your daughter, but girls nowadays, and 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 that's what you hear now. The girls are moving way faster. I than don't the boys. think she's fast for kissing. Not no, not, I'm not saying that. No, but well, she should have just and 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 I guess because. J Mac and his wife display, you know what I'm saying, the type of relationship that they have, that they cool and they show their affection. So she probably thought, well, this is cool, but you got to draw the line in the fucking saying, you motherfucking kid, you can't be pulling shit, me and mommy pulling because we're married. This is our shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. This, this nigga third visit. Nigga, no. I was actually scared when my, um, I was, out of high school in the military and brought my girl home and I told her, look, when we get to the fucking house, my mama don't play that shit. Don't fucking kiss me in front of her. Don't hug me in front of her. My mama don't do that shit unless you fucking marry. Now, if you marry, then you can do all that extra shit. Then when I get to the house, my mom like, well, why you act like you don't want to kiss or hug her? Hey, look, and I told her, girl, hey, don't listen, don't, don't fall for don't that fall bullshit. For do not fall for that bullshit. <laughs> and she'd be like, like this little hoe you got in my house you know kissing what I'm and shit. And even though, even though we live together, you know what I'm saying, in the military, I'd be like, look, when we go there, goddamn, we're going to be in two separate Y'all rooms. Y'all lived together? And when we were in the mil- when I was in the military, because I was grown then. So we had lived together, you know, we were living together, and we went back, we came back to Atlanta, and we was visiting my mom, but still, we didn't sleep in the same bed. I just found out my damn niece, she's a junior in college, her and her boyfriend live together. 
Yeah, and, it and, happens. No, you're junior in college. Yeah, I know. But listen, at least you know. I mean, you know this they nigga, fucking. This nigga was a junior in military. I mean, at the yeah. same type of. You know what I mean? Fucking killing pussy. I mean, it happened. I mean, but at least you know you would rather her. You like the situation like that. Off topic for a second. You would rather her live with a boyfriend where she where she getting one dick ran up in her versus. A, a college, multiple dicks ran up in her throughout college. Cause it, be honest, think about this. And Carter Hall, I'm not mad about what you said, but why were you talking about somebody's daughter getting dick ran up in her? But I'm just saying that's daughter. reality, reality. So yeah. I wouldn't want my daughter if if that was gonna happen. What I would want a her really to be really big dick. I, I don't give a. I I, I don't want to think about that shit. So, but <laughs> what, what I'm saying is, I, 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 be honest. So what the fuck happened? What if he's nigga? fucking in her ass too? I, be honest. That's I don't cool. want. I, I hope she don't take it to that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hope my daughter don't do that. She can maintain her virginity if she do that. You know, crazy. I'm gonna tell you something, man. I what was, having, her, what I was having a conversation. Out a I was having a conversation with somebody not too long ago about this, right? <laughs> Same shit. You know, when you young, when you young, you do a lot of shit, right? So you fucking in the ass all these years. Let's say you're all your twenties and your thirties. You get to forty and your asshole is no more good now. Right. That motherfucker, because you've been getting fucked so much. Right. Like you can't even hold shit. Now you thinking back over the last twenty years I of your don't life. Believe you've been that's fucked. the case. It has he, to. He knows. <laughs> it has to. If you if if your if your butthole goes from J Mac. Like a motherfucker like, like like that nigga. The camera. The, hey, like motherfucker that <laughs> to motherfucker that bitch is motherfucking. How big is it? How big is yours? You can't kegel your ass? That motherfucker, <laughs> hey, your shit go to motherfucker getting stretched like that, nigga. Look. <laughs> you know, right. fuck that. You you there's no way possible that when you have that feel like you got a shit that you can hold it. You right. gotta be wearing pampers over 40. Okay. Fuck that. Like and then you regret like I shouldn't be getting fucked in my ass all these years. Right. I, I hope and pray, Lord Jesus, I pray my daughter don't get fucked in the ass. Else she be liking that shit. You, you know what I'm saying? I mean, once like, you start please. running up in it, like you say, I, oh, it, like, I'm hoping I'm, I'm, a, I'm a school on this shit too. But sure, all kind of shit. Like, you're tell her that don't the, don't please don't get fucked in the ass. You gonna do just, that to her too? Just, just with, with, you, your muscle just motherfucking don't don't close no more. That motherfucker said that an open position. You could. I, I don't know if that happens, man. Just like an earring hole, nigga. We are gonna have to call. If you doctor, just, if you, just, if you just take a break, that shit gonna go back to N- normal. N- That's the human body. No, nigga. nigga some, it, it's like, okay, it's like motherfucking women when they get pregnant. God damn it, if it's been stretched, that stomach been stretched, that motherfucker, they, they be having all that extra meat, nigga, that just said. But what and about they gotta the go pussy? get that shit chopped off. What about the pussy? Nigga, pussy could be stretched too. No, nigga, you didn't, you, you the master of sleeping with bitches that didn't have babies. And I had, I told you, I had a couple motherfuckers, I had one. Prime example, that bitch pussy, that nigga didn't go back, a back couple. to, it's normal. A couple. And nigga, that motherfucker pussy was so stretched, nigga, I promise you, you put, so you could have parked the school bus in that bitch. But two out of what? <laughs> two out of how many? It That's don't a lot. matter, nigga. I mean, I mean, no, it was it a lot, does. but yeah, but I mean, those was just the two I was kind of paying attention to. No, but all the other ones that, man, niggas will always tell you that pregnant pussy afterwards, you know what I'm saying, a bitch that had a baby, it's like it's been conditioned, nigga. It's like a, it's a, like an old glove. Nigga, you didn't warn that. It's, it, it fits better now. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't think that you got seven, eight, nine pound motherfuckers coming out this bitch. Nigga, that ain't it, never ruined a pussy, nigga. Nigga, but I'm saying too much of anything. Goddamn, that motherfucker can't go back to his normal form. If you steady just hit that motherfucker and it's over time, nigga, that motherfucker gonna be sitting at an open position. It has to, nigga. This, you can't tell me that asshole just gonna close back up, nigga. Like, like back to its normalness. He would know. Why are you arguing this nigga well, about because, assholes? Oh, I'm not. It's not the I'm asshole. Saying. I'm just talking about the human body. See, he's talking about saying, the even asshole. Fucking a pussy, I'm nigga. talking about pussies. But do you really want to argue on this one? But I'm saying even with fucking a, I know a pussy, that's I mean, like arguing a rocket scientist about if a bitch, if a bitch rocket. Is getting Fuel, if a chick is getting a dick, I guess, if she I guess getting a assholes dick, are different than pussies. Jim, if she getting bad. a dick at the size of this right here, nigga, let's just say size. Or if you stick in your arm, you stay the arm in this bitch, nigga, for a long period of time, nigga, her pussy can't go back. She can't even take a regular size dick. You know what I'm saying? Are we talking about pussy still? Because I don't. I'm, because now you, you, you're I'm talking, talking about, about pussy. Now you're in my. Now you're in my territory, and I'm telling you, you're wrong. You're talking about one person. No, I'm talking about chick. You're beyond. I mean, Jay Smooth, stop. You talking about all the girls that you didn't fuck that and had babies? A couple of them had gapy pussy afterwards. But I guarantee you, all them other bitches didn't have gapy pussy. No matter how many kids they didn't had, that the pussy wasn't fucking flopped out. And I'm talking about eight, nine pound motherfuckers coming out that pussy. Big head motherfuckers. I know you didn't date a couple bitches with some jughead babies. I know. And the pussy was still good. <laughs> I mean, the pussy was all right. 
You know what I'm saying? I I mean, it wasn't like that motherfucker was just, I mean, it was just squeezing this shit. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker was just, it just go over, nigga, just over it. It's like, it's like when you fucking them motherfuckers, it be tight for a second to once you go in, that motherfucker's like, ah, and it just, it just relax. Kegel, nigga. I don't know. Everybody ain't using fucking Kegel. You know what I'm saying? But back to what we were saying. Fuck that. My daughter, she not... First of all, little nigga ain't coming over to the goddamn house like that. Not at fucking at 15. Ever? So you nah, don't ever fuck that. Not so 15. Hold nah. Hold on. See, but here's, the, here's the, the scary part to me. I'm not saying I want my daughters to... Or my sons to be having, you know what I'm saying... Like real relations in front of me, you know what I'm saying? But I think that in order for you to, to what do you teach, mean like real relations, like, like rubbing and hugging and all that oh, stuff? Okay. <clears throat> but I think in order to teach, though, you have to allow something so that you can conduct, I, I, that's so that what you I can thought. fix. You know what I'm saying? You got to mold, and and that's what Jay happened. Say he's not even letting the nigga come over to the house. Like I need to I see said y'all at together. Fifteen. At fifteen, I need to see y'all together because at fifteen they thinking about it. Yeah. I need to see y'all and how y'all interact. And that's why I thought we you ain't had- gotta have a fa- you ain't gotta have your daughter ain't gotta necessarily be fast as fuck at fifteen. She can be she can wait till she motherfucking seventeen what and decide that, that no. What I'm saying is seventeen we can have a conversation now. You know what I'm saying? No, but at fifteen be- she's talking to the nigga at school, so I want to know how they interact at school. I want to see how they deal with each yeah. other. I want to see how she's letting guys deal with her because that's something that she may not know how to do. And, and she might not know how to do that. So we had that conversation. And again, I think she was constantly trying to compare herself to what we do as far as just affectionate, you know, how, because I guess me and her mom are affectionate, right? I mean, we kiss, we hug, you know what I mean? She probably didn't caught me doing a little bit more than that. You so, know what I'm so, so, so you hit mom on the ass and she be like, hey, hey, little Billy, you can hit me on the ass. My dad always hit my mom on the ass. It, it, no, fuck that. No, fuck that. No, he can't hit your daughter on the no, ass. No, 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 I'm saying fuck that. Like, I'm saying, because you like you what you're saying to that point, like she see that. Uh, I see where, where he's going with some of that is good shit, but you got to be able to filter out some of that shit. Well, how dad treats mom, yeah, it's good. That's how you would want a man to treat you. You know what I'm saying? If your dad ain't a shit bag and, right. you know, he treats you good. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you find all those good qualities. Yeah, I get that part. But at fucking 15, you still got the rest of your damn life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can hold off on some of that shit Fuck that They need to be Nigga Hey Y'all can motherfucker Be holding a book Nigga and studying You know what I'm saying We ain't about to sit up there And watch no movies like that And become Cause he right there Whispering her ear Like so, yo When dad and mom Gonna get the fuck out the room nah, real And talk, give us personal time He did come over one day Because his internet got cut off Right And nigga needed to do a paper right See nigga so. can't pay bills You can't go You can't fuck with my daughter Your, your family broke what? <laughs> You know what I'm saying What she you teach it in bad ways. Like, that's like coming over borrowing some sugar. Hey, no, mom said, can I get some sugar? I, I, I ain't gonna lie. The motherfucker, he, he's, he's he good been kid. Through, he been through some shit, but I think he is a good kid. You know Fuck what I mean? Fuck feeling sorry for that motherfucker. That's on him. You feel sorry because he been through some shit? Yeah. Like, fuck that. Baby, you got to start choosing better. You know what I'm saying? So... So you want her to start choosing niggas that's been through some shit and she feels sorry for motherfuckers? <laughs> Fuck that. No. That's one basket case. Then she'll start feeling bad for all the rest of you sorry motherfuckers yeah. out here. And she'll start making, oh, well, dad, really, he's having, he's going through a hard time. Now she's taking care of the motherfucker. I can, I can tell you from experience, you do not want to let your daughter date somebody who's had issues. They can't get out of it. They're kids. So they don't need, they, they're, that's, that's a no-win situation. Sorry for those kids, but fuck them. Really? Yeah. yeah. Fuck them kids. Fuck man. that. I mean, I know yeah. it's not your fault, but nigga, fuck that. You just you I gotta find somebody else. I don't care how much you want to relate to the the bad things that have happened to those kids. I, I feel it's, like I feel like honestly, I wanna I wanna mentor this nigga. Fuck him. Yeah, yeah mentor him, but not let him be with your daughter. Yeah, because it's too much that can go wrong. Like. <sighs> Man, it's, they are they're, like he said. They already fucking a lot of girls. So you are gonna get a nigga that's fucking a lot of girls, and he got mental issues. I don't know if he's fucking. With, I don't know if he's fucking a lot of girls, but I know. But this is the, okay. So no, you want your is, daughter to be a, a a rescuer? This is this is the thing. I feel like, and you know, without getting into details, for all the shit that this motherfucker's been through, I feel like he's holding it down, and he needs for now. What happens when he splits? His fractures. I don't know because that's what that. happens to those motherfuckers. They fracture. So so what 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 about if if something happens that rekindle what the fuck this nigga done been through and that's then he take it out on baby girl? That's what I said. He fractures. No, you know no, what I'm saying? No, no. You gotta break you gotta break it down in my term, Pers- nigga. Personality yeah. one Fracture, that, breaks into personality two and personality three and four come and want to see the party too. And this nigga's like four people the split. all at the same time no, on your daughter. That. And because these because at that age now, man, and all I said, and, I, and you read it, that these motherfucking kids get to be abusive at young ages as well. Right. I wish the nigga would. Girl, 
I, I mean, it happened. You saying abusive, it? Not just I'll abusive. be, I'll be in the motherfucking the, the the confession booth telling some real shit. These motherfuckers were these motherfuckers like niggas like that. He a motherfucker be feel bad about his life and decided he won't commit suicide. Then he motherfucker won't take the next motherfucker out with him. Fuck yeah. that, nigga. You want to die, nigga? You die. You so know what I'm if, if that's the case, I shut it all down then. Fuck it. You gotta just, I guess. And you haven't talked with just, this motherfucker. I was like, nigga, look, let me tell you something, look, bro. Next time you in my motherfucking space, don't put your fucking hand around my daughter. Straight up. I already told him. Like, that. I don't, I don't play that shit. I don't give a fuck where do you, where you from, who your family is, but it, we, that shit don't go down like that. Gotcha. I, I, and, I, and I explained to him. And yeah. so I, yeah, you gotta get it on because you you yeah. kind of cool. When you ain't on your meds, you be too motherfucking relaxed. I like you better when you on meds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck around with meds no more. Let's get to some of these questions, man. All right, first question. There was a discussion about. Oh, I'm sorry to let the listeners who haven't listened before. This is our question of nonsense. Basically, we allow our Slack users to ask us questions and then we try to answer them quickly. Jake's move. Uh, there was a discussion about double dipping with exes. Do you think a person tied with another by kids but not by marriage has right to have sex with that person long after the relationship is done? No, fuck that. Never. No. So that's not. They're not adding bodies though. They've already fucked them. No, no. You so, can't. You're, so you're not going back and if fucking I'm, if I'm, mom. I, no, and I'll honestly be honest. I haven't. And both both of my kids, both of my kids' moms, I haven't been back to fuck them since we've been apart. Never, never. And even right after y'all broke no, up, the one motherfucker, the my, my son, mother. That, no, and listen, in all honesty, right? And I, this swear to God, in all honesty, uh, my son, mother, one time when I went to Virginia, right, and I got in so late, I wound up staying at the house. What they and look like? Listen. Who? I mean, they, they motherfuckers decent. You know what I'm saying? Okay, because that, that's a that's a that's a motherfuckers that's a decent. contributing factor. Motherfuckers decent. Motherfuckers and, be top notch. You be like, yeah. I let me thought about them. motherfucker. Not, not, so let, so what I was saying was real quick. Be honest. Um, some um, shit. I stayed at the house and I woke up. This motherfucker was hovering over me. Motherfucker just about, like see like she about to rape me, nigga. I'm like what the fuck is you doing? Motherfucker was coming on to me. I was like, nah, this part ain't going down like that because what I understood was it causes issues in your relationship that you're in where a motherfucker be like, hey. But you've already had me. sex with her. It was your baby mom. I don't so. give a fuck. I ain't going back to that because she'll be like, well, he just fucked me and she'll start causing problems because she ain't got nothing to lose. Fuck that. I got everything to lose. That's why I'm not with you now. Right. And and the new baby mama, and, and, you know, baby girl the mom. new baby mama. Baby, baby girl mom. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Have I had sex? No. If I, if I could, would have. Could I probably would, but I said it would confuse the shit. So I, I just don't. So I, I just that. don't. I got you. So I just I, I separate them shit. So I don't go back fucking them motherfuckers. I get question. some new pussy. Shout out to Daryl E. McCullough. He just joined the live room. Make sure you go check out his podcast, the Full Circle Podcast. He's available everywhere as well. Appreciate you joining. All right, man. Mac, oh, for sure. Appreciate it, Mac. What you think, man? So I don't know. Can man. you do, can you go back? Nah, I, I'm not a big fan of you know if you, there was a reason why y'all not, motherfuckers ain't together. But I do, you know, it depends. If if neither one of you guys are with anyone else, I think it's fair game. Because then it, it's, it spares you, you know, it's safe. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry about, you know, all of that extra shit that you got to worry about when you fucking stray. That, that ain't necessarily true. You have a motherfucking baby mama that motherfucking get out there. But not, that's what I said. If y'all not fucking, if neither one of y'all is fucking anybody else, I think it's fair. I think y'all can y'all can take care of each other that way. And keep each other safe, right? Instead of having each one of y'all out in the streets fucking taking chances. So if your wife was going to cheat on you, would you prefer that it be with her, somebody that she's her ex or with a new guy? That don't matter. It doesn't matter? Either that's one is fun. fine? N- neither one of those is fucking good. Oh, it's not, either one's fine. Yeah, no. Nah, either one of them is fucking work. Now, so if you're talking about a cheating I aspect, say rather. Right. No, I'm just saying, in a cheating aspect, if somebody's cheating, right. it doesn't matter if you've already been there or not. That, that, that's, that, that's dead ass to me. You I, feel the same way? I mean, hell yeah. I mean, I feel either way will get you fucked up. Put it that way. Now, either as way, you, as you said, if I could go back and fuck some of my old flings, that would that be fair game. I, now I fuck some. They, we got had no baby. I fuck them. Now them, I, I do them, but I ain't fuck with I the just baby said, mama. I just said ex girlfriend. I didn't say. Oh yeah. The, que- I, I the question said about double dipping with the exes. So it didn't, yeah, I, call, I go back to exes. Yeah. So you got to be tied to them by kids. So. But see, that's right, my no, thing. That, that was my whole thing. Is like we were talking about double dipping. What about the kids right. they swallow? I didn't know. Go ahead, Jay Mac. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know we was talking about cheating. The kids got to be alive. The kids got to be alive. <laughs> Neither one of those fucking matter. If they swallowed a lot of motherfuckers of flesh, it's all good. All right, Swallow next spit question. Out. El Chapo says he won't kill jurors, so don't sequester them. I'm not sure why he said don't sequester them, but you see, it says that. Yeah, he's not going to kill jurors, so don't sequester. That them. sounds like a setup. So, <laughs> would you be a juror for El Chapo? Fuck no. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I take that back. Okay. Yes, because I can be bought, nigga. <laughs> I could be bought. 
I could be What was that The fucking juror With fucking uh, with but, a, but do they buy people Or just kill them No 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 no. You need somebody on the inside What was that nigga name What was that uh, It's not C. Thomas Howell What was the nigga name Fucking uh, <laughs> From the juror You know what I'm saying I'll be that nigga I'll, I'll, I'll influence everybody I will make this bitch hung You know what I'm saying Look <laughs> So yes, he can he can count on you. He can count on me. You got you my El Chapo. Hey, hey, holla at a boy, nigga. Hey, um, I don't want to be on that jury. Yeah, I don't think I, I. I tried my best to get away from that. Nah, he might like you today and tomorrow. You know what? If, what if it gets to a point where there's something that you just cannot agree with? Inside man, <laughs> I'm that dude. Fucking El Chapo. You, could you imagine having El Chapo owe you a fucking favor? Like nigga, I was that dude. Remember me? Look, shit, man. That's your, a motherfucker. Your, your ass will wind up in the back uh, in not, the alley. Not, so not me. I'm the nigga that fucking you can count on. Right. Nigga, I seen a law and order plenty of y'all. <laughs> if, <laughs> if Jay Smooth one day said fuck it and comes out the closet, would any of you feel some type of way about it? Would you wonder how he felt about you all over the years? I come out of the closet and say I got married. <laughs> no, <laughs> what you gave about the closet? Whoever, whoever the fuck said that shit, nigga. I, I'm not fucking gay. It was Maurice. No, they said nigga. if you finally came I, out. I would. Hey, first of all, I'm not fucking gay. I would never come out of the closet and say anything about no gay shit. You know what I'm saying? Whoever the fuck put that dumb ass shit in there. It was Maurice, nigga. Hey, it wasn't Maurice. Was, uh, whoever the fuck put that dumb ass shit in there. You know what I'm saying? One thing your boy Jay Smooth love is pussy. Plenty of pussy, that is. Oh, when my shit is God. working, when my shit is at 100%, nigga shit, I'm at 100%. Why do you, overco- why do you overcompensate? I'm just saying. I'm when, just saying no, I'm just but saying. I'm saying, when somebody challenges you with something like this, why fuck do you that. overcompensate? I, I got to, be honest. No, Motherfucker, that's, that's no, my wheelhouse. You don't have to overcompensate. That's my wheelhouse. <laughs> do you realize how it makes you look when you when you? I don't, like, I don't, have, to, I don't have to over... I, hey, look. Y'all motherfuckers know they know, Enough said. They know by how you're reacting to hey, look, go ahead, The question go ahead. wasn't even for you, it was for us. Right. How would we but feel the, if you if you first finally came out? Well, you motherfuckers about to say we know smooth ain't gay. <laughs> that's J-Mac, that's I mean, not you, what I was J-Mac, gonna say. Man, you homies. I mean, we've been doing good this year, right? Yeah, 2018, my nigga. Well, so I ain't gay, right? I listen, I ain't say that. They you said were gay. If you finally came out the closet, but J-Mac, how would we say, feel about it? And would be worried or worried or wondering about what he thought about us all these years. I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. That nigga he already said I wasn't cute, so I don't know why this question was asked. This is somebody from the Slack room, so they know us well. This show, we we don't dislike gay people. I no, don't, at all. I don't know why that. that I'm trying I, to turn motherfuckers gay in my house, right? But I I don't, I don't know why where that sentiment came from though. We I don't have any problem with gay people whatsoever. or transgenders. However, if, whoever said that shit, you such a fucking dick. If Jay Smooth were to come out, he we would still be homies. He'd still be a very close friend of mine. We may not be able to spend. May not be able to spend the night. Ain't, ain't no fucking need to me coming out about <laughs> shit like that. You may not be able to spend the night anymore. And I would, I would think twice about the places that we go together. Not because, not because I'm scared to be in a room with a gay person. But if you remember, Jay Smooth wanted us to all go together to get anal waxes. So <laughs> that makes me wonder, like, where are we headed, Jay Smooth? You gotta let me know all the stops before I get in the car with you because <laughs> if we if we stop at the Brazilian wax place, what's I'm our a, itinerary? Right, I'm gonna be uncomfortable. <laughs> but no, honestly, if Jay Smooth came out the closet, if he finally came out. Nothing changes. We're still exactly the same friends. The show goes on. Our friendship goes on. Whoever we, asked this question, if you came out of the closet, we'll still love you. We have nothing against... I don't even know why that question was asked. We have yeah. nothing against gay people. Nah, shit. nah, not Dumb at all. Shit. Yeah. Uh, next, next question. Describe your worst boss. Mm. <laughs> ben, that nigga sent to the right of you. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Jimmy Mack wasn't my he, worst boss. He was pretty. He's probably probably a cool dude. I'm, the, I, I'm I, the coolest boss. For, listen, as a fuck you. As a matter of saying, fact, I said no, you was kind of cool. No, since since you wanted to try to go there with a nigga, right? I was at work the other day, right? Fucking just chilling, and I get a text message, right? And this is what it says. Just so you know, hey boss, how you doing? This is beep, your ex employee, right? And I'm like, what's up, dude? How you been? I'm like, you in Georgia? I recognize that area code. He's like, yep, I'm in Georgia, Augusta. He's like, how's life? Short skip to it. He's like, I was talking to one of my friends. I explained to him how much my first boss at boop helped me and how much you had an impact on my life. Then I realized I never got the chance to say this to you directly, so I'm decided to, to do this today. I love you. Hey, did, that, nah. <laughs> did, that, did this nigga either one, he either need a job or he coming out of the closet? Nah, this motherfucker, this motherfucker was just letting me know that... 
I'm that motherfucking type of dude, man. I'm telling you. So he need a job. Any, man, that's how that, I start. When a nigga needs something, they got to start like oh that no. first before they go oh, in. This is where he said he doing. So, he, you know, he's like, nah, I'm in school. You know, I'm in my second year of dental school. Oh, that nigga so, broke. He broke. He need a loan. So, yeah, nah, he, he, ain't, he ain't looking to come back to work. He's doing his thing. But bottom line is... He he felt the need out of nowhere to reach out to a motherfucker and tell me. So who's your he, worst, and, and worst he, boss? He might be just stay, stay in the touch so you can be a patient. Who's the worst boss you've had? My worst boss that I fucking probably had is. Let me I've see never that. had a bad boss. I don't think I've had any. I have. I've have never had a bad boss. I had a bad boss. This motherfucker was a new boss, and he had he had went from one of those trial bosses. To getting promoted, like you know, from a whatever they call that shit. This motherfucker was on a trial, and then he got the job. And this motherfucker was doing too fucking much. And what I mean by that is that he would not do his research before he would come and talk to me, and he would be wrong. And I'd be like, "Listen, we can't keep doing this. You can't right. keep coming at me all kind of fucking ways and not be having your ducks in a row. You always fucking wrong when I when I fucking." You were talking to him like that. I told him like that because okay. again, we go. I don't know how else to talk to people. Yeah, hey, listen, you can't keep talking to me like this and not be right. Right, you're gonna have to be right if you're gonna challenge me in in, in about this shit. And so, yeah, w was Petty Officer Bottle a bad um, boss? <laughs> nah, <laughs> yeah. nah, he wasn't bad. Drop watch. He wasn't bad. <laughs> the short motherfucker. Yeah, but I I can't really say honestly. As I look I back to my my careers, I, in my in my career. I, I hadn't really had a fucked up one. I've gotten lucky. So look, we get, we're hit, we've hit the um, one hour mark, so we got to get this one real quick. Name one quality in a woman you cannot live without. I know mine is intelligence. I couldn't live without an intelligent woman. It's just no way possible. You got to be able to throw down in the kitchen, man. You can't be no motherfucker. Let me just take cook out and, you know, we going to order out all the time. Nah, you know, expect me to cook all the time. Fuck that. You got to be able to fucking burn. Um, a good quality. God damn. No, that you can't live without. Not a good quality. A quality in a woman that you can't live without, or okay. man, a ma woman or man. Um, in a woman. All right. Um, a good quality. <laughs> <laughs> a woman. <laughs> hey, I would say, be honest. Um, shit, man, she got to be. Oh. My woman got to be. Look, my woman, she got to be beautiful, man. Hey, good, good. <laughs> she got, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't going. I ain't going ugly no more. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Hey, okay. they gotta be. I gotta be able to live with the buffalo. So, no, such a piece of shit. so moving forward, shallow how you're saying that they, that they all gotta be dying. The motherfuckers got. They they be close to it, nigga. They got. They be a nine. They could be a, a nine pennies and a half, nigga. And I, I take but that. But you back. say you're a seven. Okay. Okay. Nigga with her, nigga. We close. We bring it close to a dime, nigga. Shit. Listen, I take that back. You gotta be. Able, <laughs> you gotta be able to fuck. I ain't go. I mean, that, that, that real talk, and, and I know that I, I'm not alone in this bullshit because you guys are fucking lying if you say that you'll take some chick, and, and maybe you could think you could teach her, maybe you can, but I, I, we got to know that that's that's part of the deal before we lock it up. If you can't get on board, you 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 ooh owing, and you know you not that I don't want to do this, and you got kind of hang ups, and you approved, and this that and the other. Not going to work. All right. Listeners, we appreciate you guys tuning in once again to the No Nonsense Show. We're not done yet. We're going to do the rest of the show. Make sure you go up tomorrow and download the Tuesday show where you hear the rest of this. Uh, but go to nonsenseshow.com, uh, buy some merchandise, sign up for the premium account. Uh, what else, Jimmy Smooth? What am I leaving out? Uh, if, you, if you enjoyed the show, share it. Check goddamn this. it for sure share it Motherfucker And leave some goddamn comments too You know what I'm saying Let us know You know what I'm saying I know the show looks a lot better Without fucking French Reggie on it But you know he'll be back You know what I'm saying Fuck shit up you Unless, know what unless you finna leave a comment About a nigga's fucking daughter Don't say no shit like that I mean you can say Whatever the fuck you wanna say That's the one thing About the No Nonsense show Hey it's no filter over here In this motherfucker right Actually here. we did have a comment Oh yeah What's that we got a, We got a voicemail no, 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 no. We have we'll play that later in the show. Okay. But we had a comment that I want to get out on the live because they're always watching the YouTube videos. Um, I I'm I'm sorry I forgot who it was on the uh, the YouTube comments, but they said no more motherfucking editing. They heard that we edited some shit that French Reggie wanted out of the show, and they like, man, that's not why I listen to y'all. I'm hey. I'm not used to hearing y'all edit. Stuff like we need to hear all the fuckery. So N now that French Reggie is single and shit, we don't have to really edit shit. But you, you but, were the whole right. first year and a half of us editing because of, I mean that's uh, your eh. girl. Your girl wasn't having it. Bobby, but but after, had I, girl, to, right? I, I got I got to a point. I said fuck it. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, after she kicked you out, nigga. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. She took her key and her car back. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck out of here. He nigga full of shit. Hey, he took hey, her hey, car hold up, and hey. her key back. Hey, this this nigga's nigga full, of <laughs> nigga full of shit. I'm and, a man. I don't need this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I other than that, we've got to get ready to get out of there. Keep listening to us. Keep supporting us. No, We're going to keep bringing the nonsense because we realize sometimes people just need to laugh. Until next time. No, nigga, get the fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. See we gotta, we gotta address the comment We didn't address the comment And then this is what I was gonna say too Because I, there was a comment In the Slack room You right Maurice I, It is all love my nigga And see that's I'm, I'm quick to anger But I'm quick to forgive too nigga Hopefully and you so got we, a gun While we, you're in the anger we, part We straight hey, No for real though That's why You know that's why I'm at, Strictly crossbows nigga Strictly crossbows and machetes I believe that the person Who made the comment was HB I'm not sure I'm sorry if that's the wrong name But HB we guarantee that we are no longer going to edit the fuckery out. If something is said about somebody's girlfriend or whatever and it wasn't supposed to be said, oh, well, I guess they single. We'll get you single out here. Happen right to smooth? one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey. Happen to one can happen to another. <laughs> That's right. Hey, but if you love the show, please share it and go to nonsenseshow.com. And then and twin, also... And twin, I'll see you in Atlanta. Yeah. And, and and this is what I also say. Shout out to my boo. Follow follow a motherfucker on Twitter, man, and I'll follow you back. I'm part of that follow back hive, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, at no nonsense show. Hit us up. Hey right, man. Twin, come see me, baby. Oh god. <laughs>